Starting out as a man in this day and age is fucking hard. So last month I actually had my 26th birthday. And after, hopefully, a quarter of my life has gone by, I realize that I'm in what some red pillars may call the great male filter. Between now and the age 30, the decisions I make are going to have an even greater impact on the rest of my life. I have lofty goals and ambitions, and I'm going to drive that success home. I have learned a lot, but there's also a lot for me to learn as well. With that being said, I had just come from another milestone that all men obviously go through. The ages of about 18 to 24 are one of the most turbulent times in a young man's life, and he is thrust into the real world with no inherent value to his name. As someone who didn't go through the traditional means of going to a real four-year university, I was forced to grow and mature by my own means, especially when I went into the military, and I was forced to take care of others in the middle of nowhere at the age of 20. Being in the military, in another country, made me have to understand adulthood, I would agree, far faster than any of the other males in my generation. Now I am here to impart some advice that will help some of you guys that are struggling to find themselves in a world that is increasingly devaluing masculinity. Trust me, it's hard to make it in this changing world. And with college becoming more of a scam than a learning institution, and the advent of these crazy emerging technologies, the challenges that young men face are going to be steeper than ever. So if I could impart at least three pieces of advice to you guys, I have to. So starting off, work on yourself first. Girls come later. Gentlemen, I guarantee you, as a male around 18 to 24, the dating scene is rough. Statistically speaking, 90% of women are seeking the top 10% of man. And like a video game, when you turn 18, you start at zero. Back in my day, I would keep sliding right on Tinder for hours hoping to get a match. When I did, the girls would rarely text back. There were times I became consumed by the desperate need for female companionship, and it would eat up my time and energy that I could have spent developing myself. In Okinawa, the prospect of dating a woman as a military man is actually depressingly slim. It's just social economics. In Okinawa and in the military, there are significantly more available men than there are women, and the locals have a very different way of courtship than you're used to. It wasn't until I deleted Tinder and worked on myself that I started to increase my value. Although unfruitful, during my time training to be a Sark, I had more harmony with myself and working on my goal gave me a higher sense of self-actualization. And yes, 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 I did actually meet my fiance on Tinder. However, I was at a point where I had honed my value and could actually meet high value women because I had worked on myself for so long. The point is you have a long life. I know that the prospect of a woman's attention sounds so great to you now, believe me. But spending those early years investing in your schoolwork if you're in college, having a social life, and working on your productivity and values will benefit you greatly in the long run. The next thing is learn, learn, learn. Scientifically speaking, from the ages of 18 to 24, your brain has a significant amount of neuroplasticity, which is the ability of the mind to adapt to new information. Use this. Learning is all around you. Even if you don't spend a f ton of money on a four-year piece of paper, YouTube, Fiverr, Duolingo, Skillshare, these are all great programs on the internet for you to learn high-value skills and further your knowledge about the world to make you a higher-value man. When I was getting started taking care of marines during my rotations at the clinic, I would always sit down with the IDCs or medical officers as they taught me about the intricacies of the human body. While I started out lackluster, I eventually gained the skills and knowledge needed to take down the notes of the patient, give comprehensive diagnostic physical exams, and even order labs and medicines, leaving the medical officer to just sign off on the note. But when I tell you to learn, understand that there are going to be growing pains that come with it. In every endeavor that I started, I sucked at it. Hell, I'm still starting YouTube and entrepreneurship. Sometimes it was embarrassing getting scolded at for not getting the physical exam right, or when I was training for SARC, failing a physical screening test. Yet getting better means having the relentlessness of getting back up and trying again. For a lot of you, it's going to be one of the hardest ideas for you to comprehend when it comes to learning new things, is that you're going to suck at it for a little bit. But trust me, keep hitting that brick wall. It's going to hurt, but it's going to come down. And my last piece of advice, don't submit to loneliness. 
There is an epidemic amongst all men when it comes to brotherhood and friendship. According to a study by the American Psychological Association, men are less likely than women to have close friends. The study found that only 20% of men reported having 5 or more close friends, compared to 30% of women. The study also found that men are more likely to report feeling lonely than women. Now, as an introvert, I have the social energy of a AAA battery. However, I managed to gain friends through the military and I still keep in contact with them to this day. While I was at CLB4, I would always run into Marines that would want to talk to me and there was always a smoke pit party to go to until COVID. I want to work on a separate video on actually how to gain friends as an adult man, but gaining friends is an art of its own. I still like to spend my time alone though. This is why I am saying to both go out and build a network of not just friends, but brothers that can support you through the highs and lows that life has to offer, while also understanding the ability to be comfortable by yourself. Although I stress the importance of teamwork, I know that when you have a mission in life, sometimes you gotta go alone. Finding the right balance between being in a team and going solo in both your work and personal life is the key to growing your value as a man. That's all I have for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. It helps me immensely. Also, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one support, I've actually got a new life coaching program developed specifically for those who are trying to go into the military. This also encompasses tutoring for ASVAB, but also things like physical fitness, goal setting, what you want to do in the military, and how to navigate through that. Understand that when recruiters are trying to get you into the military, they're trying to sell you something, and sometimes they're going to BS you. This is a no BS kind of thing. It's on Fiverr. Link is in the description below. I also got a cool book. Please comment below any other questions that you might have about about the process of starting out as a man in this world and who knows I'll make a video on it thank you guys for watching and for a love of all that is good and a god-given duty to protect it I'll see you guys in the next one